Okay, at this point, I've re-recorded and recorded this several times. And I think one of the reasons why this is so hard for me, like why is that door open? <sighs> Anyways, I think one of the reasons why this video is so hard for me is because it requires like a level of vulnerability that I don't typically have on camera. Like I'm vulnerable with some of my friends and with specific people, but like, being vulnerable with myself and being honest with myself right now in front of the camera is really difficult, I think. And yeah, so we're gonna push past that though because I think that it is important for me and for my channel to be authentic and to be vulnerable and to be, and to be able to provide all perspectives about grad school and not just the happy parts or not just the parts that I want you all to see. I think that, yeah, this like level of vulnerability is super important to me. And even though it's like really difficult in this moment to record this and it might not like seem difficult like by my face or whatever, it's really hard because I've been thinking about this video for at least four or five months now. And I think one of the main things that makes this uncomfortable for me is that I have to admit that I'm uncomfortable with my current situation and I have to be, I guess, honest when I'm typically not this honest with people. So, Welcome to the video. This sounds like really ominous to me, but like I want to be very clear about this experience and making sure that people understand that this is okay. People experience these things. You might experience these things while in grad school and just so that you know that you're not alone in it. So lately I have been feeling like, like, just life isn't what I expected it to be at 26. It's like, not crying, my face is just itchy. Um, it's like, when I think back to college and I imagine 26, this space that I'm in wasn't, this is not what I expected. I, on one hand, really expected to be in grad school I expected to be in a PhD program because I was, you know, walking on faith that I was gonna get in. But the parts of my life that haven't met expectations are parts of my personal life. And it's very weird because I would like to think that at this stage in my life, I would be able to have friends that I can depend on people who want to come visit me in St. Louis or people who want to visit me, period. People who I can depend on and people that I'm able to be this vulnerable with, it doesn't exist. Like, it doesn't. Like, I can count on one hand how many people I truly and honestly feel vulnerable with. Two of those people, one hand, two of those people are my parents. One person is my cousin. And so it just, it just sucks. Like, I think about this all the time, like when I'm sitting here and I'm like, damn, it would be really nice to have some friends. And you know, some people warn me about the isolation that occurs in PhD programs and just, you have to really work at being more or doing more things that like fill your soul up. But it's like, I imagine that my capacity for doing things are like jars. And so right now I have like my personal jar and my professional jar. And in an ideal world, they'll both be equal. Like my professional, my professional jar would be equal to my personal jar and it would feel balanced. But right now that's not the case at all. It's like my professional jar, it's like so full where there's just not enough in the personal jar at all. And it's like I watch people I went to college with like go off and do things and like start brands and start 
you know, going on vacations and starting families and relationships and it just, it's like, well, damn, I'm just still sitting in school. Like it just, it just feels like, it's kind of like fear of missing out. Like it just feels like I'm missing out on stuff that like I really want in my life. Like I really would love to be in a relationship and I really would love to start a family right now. But I know that I don't have the capacity to do that, especially not with the quality and quantity of work I have right now, right? And so it's so weird to me because like, I feel like my professional life is really, really excelling. And then like my personal life is taking like a huge temporary hit because like one, I'm not gonna live in St. Louis forever. I already know that. I don't wanna live here any longer than I have to. And so it's like, okay, I'm gonna up and move again. I already know that. And like, it's daunting to me to be like, okay, well, I'm gonna move again and I'm still not gonna have any friends in this new place and I'm gonna have to navigate that. And it's, it's scary. It's, it's so frustrating to me because like, in my mind, I know this sounds silly and I know it's like, I am so blessed and so fortunate and so privileged to be even doing a PhD and to even be in the space where I can sit and learn and think all day, every day. And I don't want it to sound like I'm not grateful for that, but it would really be nice for my personal life to feel a little better. And it's like, I don't even have the time to even put into my personal life because I just don't have the capacity because there's so much work that always needs to be done with my PhD. And I was talking to my dad about this and he was like, well, you have to remember that people aren't really going to be posting like the shitty stuff that goes on in their life, fair. And so he was like, it's not fair of you to compare like your whole life story and your whole experiences to just parts of people's experiences that they're putting on the internet. And in an effort to just like normalize this, <laughs> that's why I'm doing this video. It's, yeah, it's, it's temporary and I know it's temporary, but it's still so hard. It would, it just, you know, like at 26, I just imagine this would be a lot different. And that's okay. And it's okay for things not to go the way that I expect them. I am not God, I'm not the universe. I don't get to plan out how things fall and how the chips fall or any of that. But I think there's something to be said about people who are experiencing this and people who just, you know, feel sort of like that bittersweet feeling like, yeah, this is really great and this is a really awesome opportunity, but like, I still feel like things are lacking in my life. And that's okay. I think sometimes it's like that. And my dad was telling me that, you know, right now you're making like a sacrifice with your personal life and right now it's going to suck. And he was like, it's going to feel awful. You're gonna watch people do the things that you wanna do and accomplish the things that you wanna do. But you are in a space, I am in a space where my goals matter more, I guess. And I need to be in this space right now to accomplish this goal, right? And so it's like, take this temporary hit for now. I know it's temporary. I only have two more years left in my program here. Yeah, well, two more years left in St. Louis, two more school years left in St. Louis. And once I move, I'm gonna try a lot harder to make sure that this, this feeling, this like uncomfortableness, this sadness, this longing for more doesn't happen again. And I just want to say that like, if you are feeling this way, like it's hard, like it's, it's hard and it, 
it feels it sucks like it, it hurts your feelings because you're like dang i don't have anything going on i'm just in school and i'm just in grad school and i'm just doing this but you have to remember that being in grad school and being in phd program is hard it's not all giggles and shits and happiness like undergrad is well i mean for some people undergrad was that great but for other people it wasn't it's, it's not like that and i just have to and you have to remember that it's temporary and the sacrifices that you're making now your future self will thank you for and even though it doesn't feel very glamorous right now to be in the trenches it'll be okay and you'll make it through and as much as i'm saying this to you i'm saying it to myself like Eventually, you'll have an amazing tribe of friends and an amazing personal life where you feel like you're able to do all the things that you want to do. And even if it's not right now, even if right now you just have to be in the trenches and focus on your professional life, it doesn't always, it won't always be this way. And I think that's all I really wanted to say. Okay. I know I said that's all I wanted to say, but I actually have two more things I wanted to say before I ended this video. One, I was touching my face a lot, a lot. And I don't know why, it just might be like a defense mechanism to like hide myself. Anyways, all that to say is I want to make sure that you don't feel this, like you don't leave this video feeling discouraged because like, yeah, it sucks. And yeah, right now it feels awful and yeah, it's, it's terrible but like it's also very it's temporary and your future self is going to thank you for the sacrifices that you're making right now today and just remember that even though it might feel as if you're alone and like you're the only one going through this hard time you are likely not and you can always reach out to me or somebody that you trust or somebody that you feel comfortable being vulnerable with and you know express these feelings to them and be sure that they just listen and hear you out because there's nothing worse than like expressing your feelings and expressing feeling shitty and people are like no it's fine like it's okay just puck up buttercup and you're like no fuck that like it really hurts but all that to say i just didn't want to end the video on that side of a note it was like super depressing and i just wanted to say that it's okay and it's hard but you are tough and you can do this and if you need support like there are support systems out there i'm here other people are here especially in academic twitter or the academia world that you can go to um if you're feeling this way and yeah just remember that people aren't posting their failures on social media and so you shouldn't compare yourself to them and even if you are comparing yourself to them just remember that your goals are bigger and you are going to do amazing things and that it's okay even if it sucks and even though it feels terrible right now it's still okay and you will get through it just as i'm getting through it and yeah so for real this time i will see you all next week um be sure to follow me over on my social media um subscribe um and yeah i'll see you guys for real next week i'm sorry to end the video like randomly on a sad note but yeah i will see you guys next week peace